The pursuit of economic development without collapsing natural, the natural environment has been a perceived conflict forever. Our chapter, Education, Sustainable Development and Resource Management, addresses the role of education, public understanding and training in securing economic development while achieving sustainability. Most countries are just aiming at continuously growing their economies to improve life for their citizens. Many nations have been successful, but widely using their natural resources. I believe we surpassed the earth carrying capacity maybe in like 1976. And through our human impact, we have even created our own historic era with the Anthropocene. And well, I guess while we're thinking that our lifestyles are theoretically based on a service economy, but we're still drawing down natural resources, but at what cost? We speak of our conscience for the earth, but still we're not able to limit economic growth. And even with the UN 2030 agenda or the Paris Accord, everything still seems so ineffective. And during this COVID-19 pandemic, where some countries even quietly step back from climate action, it becomes quite obvious that sustainability is still seen as some add-on option in our economies. In our chapter, we focus on how to move away from economic development at all costs towards a responsible growth and the role of education systems to create such new path towards sustainability. To acknowledge this conflict of addressing economic growth and uh, preventing resource depletion, and environmental degradation, pollution, etc., the world leaders in 1987, they agreed on an overarching concept of sustainable development. And they created three consecutive implementation strategies. Uh, the first one was Agenda 21. That um, that ran from 1992 to 2000. And then we had the Millennium Development Goals that ran from 2000 to 2014. Now we have uh, the Sustainable Development Goals, or the, the SDGs, and they're running from 2015 to 2030. Now I mention these because in all three of these implementation strategies, the world leaders acknowledged and agreed that education, public awareness, training, collectively we refer to as education for sustainable development or ESD. These are three crucial means of implementing sustainable development. ESD is, uh, is recognized by the even the UN General Assembly as an integral element, not only of Sustainable Development Goal 4, but is a key enabler of achieving all the other Sustainable Development Goals. Now, despite the uh, recognition of such importance, embedding ESD actually into the world's education and training systems uh, that is remaining such a major issue. Now, let me shift slightly. UNESCO is a central force in, in bringing forward new contemporary philosophical concepts of education, even questioning the purpose of education. And UNESCO creates a major think piece or a major document every 25 to 30 years. Now, such a document is now underway. It's a report entitled Futures of Education with a focus on the year 2050. It's addressing emerging societal issues such as the impact of artificial intelligence and technology on humankind. And this is currently underway. And fortunately, addressing sustainability is one of the focus areas in this new document. Now, our Factor X chapter as a solution urges addressing sustainability uh, be embedded as a purpose in all future education and training systems.
So understanding sustainable development as a purpose of education and embedding ESD in, in all our education systems at all levels, this will be crucial in our perspective for the global community to take the turn towards sustainability. We recommend that education systems to become the change agents, to raise the profile of education, alter curricula, provide professional development, and embed ESD concepts throughout. Now, a knowledgeable public that understands and demands the fundamental changes to currently accepted and preferred lifestyles, etc., will be crucial to change not only economies, but to resolve the deep-seated resource management uh, issues and, and other concepts that are threatening the planet. And the 2030 agenda is actually becoming a forecast or a guidance system for businesses and education. Changes like this are really contributing to an improved visibility of the concept of sustainable development. And most businesses, companies, they really understand the necessity for change towards the sustainable use of resources, simply to secure their profit. And they will require an educated workforce with such knowledge to deal with sustainable development. Especially now in this COVID-19 pandemic, there's a huge chance for momentum to create a profound change when reopening and going back to a new normality. Some governments are already implementing concepts of societal well-being at the same time. And in line with ESD, well-being addresses global and local resource-oriented sustainability issues. But well-being is so much more than just well-off or wealthy, and it covers health or aspects like the meaningfulness of one's life. In developing a sense of responsibility, not only for oneself, but also for the well-being of others, also the distant others in other countries, for today's and future generations, need to be revisited through education if we are seriously to address sustainable resource management in the long term.